What's going on ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be editing LVY. We're going to set it up so that we can use it for World of Warcraft Classic on our dwarf hunter named Reticulating. His name is Reticulating. He has a pet named Activator. So he's the Reticulating Activator of LVY. So we're gonna we're gonna edit LVY. So far, I've done the general settings. I've got I've got like the UI scale set to that. I went to media. I did the textures, primary and alternate. The values I've made them class color values. Accidental presidency font, 14 size. I applied that to all. It says, "Are you sure you want to do that? You're gonna have to reset the UI and stuff." And I was like, "Yeah, that's fine." Um, what else? Action bars, we haven't messed with action bars. We were working on unit frames currently. I changed the texture to the blizzard one. We have accidental presidency set to eight for the font size. The individual units is what I'm currently working on. The player frames more specifically. And so far I've changed uh, the name or the, it's like the health text or something. I, I was starting from the top. So we started from the top, we were working our way down. We have our width changed to 175. It was 240. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up this, the player frame for the unit frames. And then I'm gonna go to pet target, target to target, target to target, target to target, and pet target, and copy those from player. So I just gotta set one up and then I'll copy that over to the other ones. Excuse me. We have uh, buffs here. Cast bar. The cast bar is currently being shown underneath or over our uh, focus target, it looks like. So if I move this here, that's where the focus target would be. Yeah, right here is the focus target. So actually, that's the target of our target. I guess that's okay. I probably want it, the target of our target smaller. It doesn't need to be that large. We'll get to it. We'll get to it though. I get why it's that size though. It makes sense for it to be that size, I suppose. And then the text looks appropriate. I don't know if we need to see the target of our targets cast bar. The target of our targets targets cast bar. I don't think we need to see that. Or, no, that's our cast bar. Display it. See, that's why that's confused. That's why I'm going to change it. Alright, so combat icon. I did enable the combat icon. So when we do see that combat icon, it'll be right there. I have it set to size 30, positioned at the bottom. I did a offset of negative 3 on the Y axis. Uh, excuse me again. Okay, so we got lucky HP. This is what it was currently set to. It was like... Health current, I don't know. I changed it to this. I made it health color. So now, depending on our, our hit points, it, the color of our health will change. It's showing the value of our, our uh, current health in short form. I'll probably just put value. Probably doesn't need to be short. Uh, we could get rid of the T here. All right. So... I guess I gotta type long. Okay, so long value. Okay, maybe it is just short value then. Fine. Short value. Anyways, health current short value. And then the percentage right here, lucky 1%. It actually does take into account formatting. So if you put like a bunch of spaces, it counts those spaces. I just try to make it look kind of symmetrical to where you get the value on the left right here. And then the percentage on the right, right here. And you can see like if I backspace that and then hit OK, it bunches them closer together. But if I control Z that, or or if I control Z that, it won't, it won't let me, it won't let me control Z that if I control Z that. So we have to put those spaces back in. Uh, okay. And then we'll, we'll add some more spaces. 
right there okay too many we took two off that was one too many we'll take one off okay and and that's that's how you do that that's okay cutaway bars i don't know what this is probably don't well i guess as we lose hit points the bars can cut off uh, i don't think we need that debuffs we can show those those okay so if we get debuffs they'll be up there i probably want the number in the debuff instead of the top um 10 per row actually that's fine the stack counter okay so at the top is the stack counter that's that's what that is yeah, those, those are okay. We'll leave that as it is. Health prediction, sure. Colors? Oh, colors. Okay. I did want to mess with these colors. For example, like health. So good, neutral, bad. Those are good. That, that makes sense. Health by value. Color health by value remaining. We have our health being colored by health, by our class. So currently the the bar for our hit points is gonna be colored the same color as our class. If I were to target like a mage or something. You need something? You would see uh, a mage colored class. Here's a mage. So the mage is that blue one right there. And every class will have their own color. So shaman will be pink and you know, hunters are green, rogues will be yellow. Pet happiness, this is what we want. Uh, there's a way in the tags here. You can actually get pet happiness, I think, from the tags. Lucky one you I. Health percent, mana percent, classification. Ooh, classification would be nice too. We'll make sure that that's on target. Let's let's get this on target. Unit frames, general, uh, individual units. That's where we were just were. We want that on the target, but we want that on the target's health. It's probably got like hex somewhere. Let's see. Buffs, cast bar, combat icon, custom texts. This one. So, we want that to mirror basically what we have on the other side, but we also want, we'll probably make it, let's, let's create one. This will be called, uh, Rare Icon. Okay, and then we'll drop that here. Okay. And that should display the rarity, the Lucky One classification. Here, let's call this, well, we'll just call it rare icon. Yeah, we'll just call it rare icon. I, did, I messed it up. It's already used by another element. Should've never did that. Should've never did that. Copy from, okay, okay what the fuck? Okay, we'll call it lucky one underscore a rare icon boom shakalaka we're, we're just gonna we're gonna bite off that name even though this is it but it is their classification so you know it's fine it's fine player uh we don't need the debuff still shown so i'm gonna toggle those back off using the button that we used to toggle them on which was Show auras. Okay, that's off now. Fader, health prediction, health, information panel, name. Uh, that's. I think the name's set up properly. We want our. We want that name to be like our name. So, where do we have our special text? Custom text. Okay, so we did lucky one HP. That's saved right now, so let's see. Let's, I'll copy that just in case. I thought we also had rare icon, but I guess that's just for target. Okay, that's still fine. 
our icon or our classification is always going to be the same anyways, right? So that's in custom text. We're going we're gonna to copy that. So regardless, let's just finish outfitting unit frames and then we'll copy all this over to the others afterwards. Health, information, name. This is fine. Name, I actually probably want to change. Name, I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. Class color. Um, okay. It does, it does not. It doesn't, it doesn't. Is that where the name actually is? This is where the name is. So the name here would have to be class color. We wanted to do it that way. There we go. And then we don't need an outline. Okay, but we do want to give it a shadow. Can we give it a shadow? Uh, attach it to hell. And we want to center it with no offset. Uh, we may raise it too. We'll raise it three. Yeah. We'll raise it two. We'll raise it one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe even rewind it back a little bit, eh? It feels like... It's because we have the percentage here. It feels like the percentage is encroaching. I consider it a between those. Do we want to? Or do we want to keep it centered on the frame? We'll center it on the frame. Because at some point we're going to get more hit points. And our hit points number is going to get larger. Anyways. So we'll call it that. Now, we can actually make the name a little bit bigger since it's the name. Ooh, I like that. Let's make it even bigger. Let's make it 19. Ooh, it's reticulating. Okay. And maybe 19 is too large. 18? 17. <clears throat> 17 looks good. Let's try 16. I think 16 snaps into the pixels better. Let's see, 17? Yeah, 17 looks a little stretched. 16 looks appropriate. All right, expressway. Let's see if that changes it. That, that'll change it. Okay, so that changes things a little bit. Okay, 19. We'll try 20. We'll try 21. Let's just slide. Ooh, there we go. Okay, we don't have to go that big. 26, 23, 23 looks good. 23 looks pretty good. We'll do 23. S well, maybe justify it left, justify it center. Maybe I'll offset it just a tad, just to keep it. Oh, we could line it, like right here. Right there, don't, nah. Nah. Zero. Let's minus two. Keep it zero, keep it zero. HP, okay, so HP. Short value, health current, short value. I don't think we need short value. We could just say health current. Okay. Lucky one health percent. Wait, what did that do? Cause there's lucky one specific tags. What is that about? There may be something extra happening if we if we stick with that. So maybe we stick with that. 
Let's go back to tags. We'll do lucky one. Displays percentage of health with one decimal below 100%, two decimals below 10%, and hides decimals at 100%. They have the same with mana. Oh, uh, we should have mana as well. Hunter. Oh, look, this is hunter specific stuff. Happiness full, happiness discord. Oh, happiness discord emoji? That's cool. Let's try that. Um, I'm getting a little distracted. I saw something from the pet frame. I want to try it out. Um, uh, we're going to put that in the center. It says health currents. HP, happiness full. Let's go right there. Boink. So there it goes. It's pissed off right now. It, it needs some food. All right, we're gonna... Let's left justify this. Put that out. Home. Paste. And then uh, let's even center. And then I thought I just switched this, but I guess I did not. I think it's because I clicked out. Okay. So let's give that some space. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, thirteen. Okay. Okay. So offset zero. We currently have happiness attached to the name. I don't know if we're going to keep that that way. I kind of want just the name center. Let's let's cut this out. We'll center the name. We're going to change it back to uh, presidency. What are we keeping the fonts? 14? No outline. 16. We had 23 at the top. Let's go. 20. 20 looks better on the bottom. <clears throat> There's no shadow. Attached text to frame. HP. In the HP side, we're going to put happiness emoji in the middle. Well, actually, we'll keep it more on the hit points. Bang. And then, okay. All right. Um, this health current. And then space them out. And you're seeing at the bottom down here, my pet bar is changing. Right there. We almost got it set. I may even space this out a bit away from the hit points. Yeah. Like so. Back it up just a little bit. Now this bar here specifically is gonna be a little different than the rest. It's a 269 right now. Ow! So we're gonna obviously keep it that. <coughs> Excuse me. I just had a, like a little something in my throat. I was just trying to clear that. I decided not to pause to do that. Okay, right there. And then this. We want this pet bar also kind of a little bit more centered than that. Lock. Okay, that's, that's a little tight right there. A little bit. It's a snug fit. I might, I might move this XP. Let's move this ex experience bar here. A bit more on there. And then this reputation bar also. A bit more on there. And that'll allow us to center this a little bit more. Like so. One more breadth. One more breadth of a pixel right there. Like so. This can go more like that. Okay, okay, okay. 
center a little further. Maybe one that way. Okay. Very meticulous. Very meticulous. All right, Activator needs to eat. We're missing a bar for some reason, so we can't see our pet food. So here you go. He should start getting happier. I love that Discord emoji's cool. He should get some more happiness here. I kind of want to move these bars around. Bar two, bar three, bar four. Okay, okay. So we're missing bar four. Action bars. We're still not done setting up our unit frame. Oh look, activate our hit his his emoji change. Okay, here's the bars. We're missing four. What about I think we're missing six. Six is the one we have everything bound to. I don't think we need, we don't need two or five. But we need three and four vertical. So we don't, we don't need two and we don't need five, but we need three and four vertical. So one button per row. A one button per row and toggle so this is four here's three we could probably even flip those six goes here um I, maybe we got rid of a bar we did need what are we missing here Bar two, maybe? Let's see. Here's bar two. Oh, that's not the one. It's not bar two. Bar three? It's gonna be bar five. Bar five? Let's try bar six, maybe. Bar six is here. Bar seven. Bar seven is used for stance forms. No. Bar eight. Bar eight is used for stance forms. Bar nine. Bar nine is used for stance forms. Which one of these bars got messed up? Was it bar two? Maybe bar two got messed up. Okay, let's uh, let's adjust it then. I think slash KB is keybind, so let's get our anchors. Lock, and then slash KB. So this will be control one, control two, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. This will also be um, control Q, control E. Control R, Control S, Control Z, Control X, and Control C. And we will save those. Now we're gonna pull out our buttons. Our button. We gotta pull out these buttons. Okay, activate R is pissed off again. His his food's kinda low level. He's not as satisfied with the level one food anymore. I like how it's highlighting, that's cool. Call pet, dismiss pet, revive pet, tame the beast is already there, aspect of the monkey is there, arcane shot rank, rank two, right? 
Doesn't say the rank. Rank one. Rank one. Okay, it does say the rank. Concuss shot. Serpent sting two. Serpent sting two. Raptor strike two. Raptor strike two. Okay. I think we're good. I think we we have set up what we need now. And then these I'll just bring down here. the tracker was in the way okay the wolf's getting happy he's like i'm still hungry bitch all right sorry man okay we don't need to show the key ring we can vendor and delete grace nice sort bags that feels good to be able to sort our bags okay Active Radar is happy. He loves us. That's nice. Okay. Now, let's see down. And, uh, continue. Uh, before we do, L, just like anything, anytime you're working on something, especially if it's taking a long time, export that shit. Export it now. Control C, Control C, close. Then import that shit import it now and then import it but call it r a s and accept so now we have a profile in case shit hits the fan or we crash or something goes down we have the the, per, the current profile r a s reticulating he's on the skull rock server alliance and uh yeah, I probably should have mentioned that. This is the Skull Rock server. This is where Elude and Stalwart initially were. So, from here, we're going to continue the unit frames customizations. We got to health prediction, we did health, color by happiness. That's for the pet. Okay, so we were doing custom text. Like I said, we did custom text. Actually, even for the pet, we'll come back and we'll do something about that in a minute. Health prediction, we did health. Okay, this is where we were. We went into coloring. I wanted to see if coloring was set up properly. I think it kind of was, all right. But we, we do want, I want to get, I need, I need mana to be shown. I want to see mana. So maybe we'll do information panel. Maybe we'll make it 10? Nah, nah, nah. What was it, 20? We're gonna disable that. Information panel is not it. From health, we're gonna add this is what we would need. From the health bar, in the health window here, we got the text format. We're gonna go to available tags. We want, ooh, loyalty might be good to show for the pet. We're getting distracted. Mana, here's the mana stuff. I want the lucky one one. Mana percentage. We'll do the lucky one mana percentage, which displays current mana without decimals. Which I guess is what we want, right? Okay. Do you see it? Do you see where it's showing? I don't see it. It's, it's text anyways. We don't need text. Where's man power? Power, this is it. Power? Okay. Power is that. This is the text format for that. We'll center it. I'm not sure if it's doing it right. It seems like it's... Uh somewhere else detach from frame auto hide the width of it is 175 parent frame so it's it's detached but still the the frame is gonna be like if I move the parent frame I guess it's gonna move this as well so in in that sense it is still attached to that what is X offset? Okay. 
zero. Let's position this on the bottom. It's attaching that to the frame. Okay, I see. Energy mana region tick, I like that, I like that. It's attaching to health. Let's attach it to the frame. Let's attach it to class power. Okay. Build, inset, offset, or space. It's set to inset currently. Height, okay, here's the height. I don't know what that was. Let's give it like 10. No, let's give it like five. Let's give it like seven. Seven looks good. Maybe eight. Eight looks good. Power prediction looks good. Uh, we'll undetach it from the frame. We'll keep it in the frame. Um, let's... It's bottom. It's attached to the bottom. I don't know how I want it. Uh, this is for the text specifically. Center. Bottom. Okay, that's not what we want. Zero. I want it in this, but I want that down somewhere else too. So, I guess that's where I'm trying to detach it from frame. Frame level custom, yeah, let's detach it then. But then, from the detached, it don't, it don't, it don't just meet up to it. It don't just marry up to it like this. We have to actually, what if I un UI pair? It prevents it from hiding with the frame. We want it attached to the frame. Power prediction, reverse fill, X and Y offset. So, so basically, not detached, it doesn't have a detached width. Let's do fill. There we go. Filled is what I was looking for. But then we want, I think we want our hit points bar fatter than that. Because now with this, it kind of looks a little bit too, too skinny, too thin. We need more girth to our health bar. We need to get as much of that girth in our health bar as possible. Height? Or... Oh, height, 36, better, better, significantly better. Okay, hit points, let's go back to the power percentage rather. Uh, y offset in 30, minus 35 it looks like. Minus, minus, minus. what is that? 34, 33, 33, watch. Ooh. What if it's 32? Okay. I think I prefer 33. Yeah. And it's just showing a percentage without, but there's like no tech. Okay, let's do color. Um. There's probably a tag for it. Let's check the tags. Available tags, colors, happiness, class, health, threat, faction, reaction, class, difficulty, mana color, power color. Colors the power text based on the mana. So, colors the power text. So we'll say power color. Right? I think mana color. Mana color, probably. Let's do that. 
or power color power color okay yeah colored it okay it's kind of blendy though it's kind of blended in is there a way to give it like a border Power prediction. Yeah, it'll be alright. It's, it's it's good like that, I think. Maybe give it a little bit more space. And then offset a little bit more. Like that. Is there a way to change the text, maybe? Nah. PvP and prestige icon. Probably gonna have any PvP. Raid roll indicator, rest icon. Uh, yeah. Don't mind if I do. Let me make 33. Okay, let's make 32. He's rested. Cool. Resurrection icon. We're not going to need that. Custom strata. Is that it? I think that's it. His name is his class color. Is there anything else we could do with like the name maybe? I think the name's fine like it is. All right, so let's go to pet. We'll copy that from player. Yes. Oh, you see how stuff changed down here? I don't know if we like that. <laughs> we could restore defaults, but we're gonna have to redo some stuff down there. All right, so from that, we'll add the tags we had earlier. And then we'll also toggle the anchor. Uh, he's got a cast bar, okay. I didn't realize he had a cast bar. Oh, cause it copied from ours. I see, I see, I see. All right, let's just anchor this in the center. It's kind of snapping too. We got uh, about one and a little smidge of breath on either side there. And then for the pet ass bar, apparently, We'll change the size of that to 175. And... We'll attach it to... Yeah, that's okay like that. And then... We'll go back into the name. We're gonna make his name ha his happiness color. We can be subtle like that. We could go into lucky one. Let's go to pet. Hunter. His happiness icon, his loyalty. I like the discord emoji thing, that's cool. Let's just create a new one. This will be called uh, Pet Happiness slash Details. Okay. So this will have the happiness right there. And then we can actually add some more stuff like loyalty. And diet. So let's go loyalty C. 
in diet. We could just type diet. Let's keep the loyalty next to happiness or on the other side. Let's see. Activate our. It says meat. It just types it out, I guess. Um, let's maybe anchor it to the top. Oh, we justify either. Okay, so. I guess the loyalty is the number. Let's go like this. Let's let's put the loyalty first. And then we could actually give it a mono outline. Yeah. And then bring up the 10 or even 11. Or even 12. It needs to be that same font as the bottom one, which I think is this one. Forced square. Was it forced square? Home, homespun. I believe it was homespun. So. Activate our three meat. <laughs> the number, I don't know about the loyalty number. And I don't know if we really need to know the diet. I do like to see the uh, happiness though. So let's say... That'll be good right there. Um, maybe one more space. Uh huh. Uh huh. That'll do, right? That'll do. I don't know if there's any other detail we're missing from before. I think it should be good like that, though. Just got his pet power. Okay. Alright. So that's the pet. We did the pet that way. Now target. Let's see if target will just go just like players. Copy. And then target a target. Copy players. And then we don't need target a target a target. Or even pet target. Group units. Uh, party. Party we're gonna... I don't know if we can... Party doesn't let us just... Copy does it. Not necessary. It's not going to be the same. Okay, so for this one, we got to do something similar as well. Just, we'll, we'll copy the custom text. And then we'll also do the bars the same way. So it's like 175, 30. For individual power bars or how. Custom text. Let's do this. A, C, group units, um, custom text, control A, control V, okay. Uh, hold on, let's, let's look at them. Display. 
So they're kind of like that. They're kind of like the same now. But those are mono outline and four square. It's not four square, it's something else. Okay, individual units, custom text. Yeah, it is four square. Hold on, let's see. 12. Maybe that's why. Oh. There you go. Okay. And then for the names, individual units, lucky one name. So group units, lucky one. It already is lucky one name. What was the other one? HP. Okay, lucky one HP. Lucky, I, can I just select it? Okay, we'll say HP. Lucky one HP. Okay. For lucky one HP, we'll copy lucky one HP here. Control C, group units there. Individual units, lucky one nan. Lucky one name, control C, lucky one name, control A, control V, okay. I don't think lucky one uh, HP got copied over properly, so we're gonna copy this. Control C, control C, group units, lucky one HP, control V, okay. Now it got copied. So now we're working with something similar. It's not exactly, it's not exactly accurate though. So let's make it accurate. HP is 12. HP is 8 here, 12. HP is left, HP is center here, okay? Minus one, zero, this should be minus one. And then uh, mono thick, four square, four square, mono thick. And then it wasn't even health, it was frame. So let's make it frame. And then those are the same now. Name, name's different. Name needs to be accidental presidency. Accidental presidency. And then it needs to be 23, 23. And then it's gotta be nine, nine, nine. And then everything else is the same. Ooh, that looks nice. So let's get some power bars. Individual units have power bars. That's under power. This is the text. Control C. Group units should have power bar. Well, that should be under power. Enable. And then it should be like this. Okay. Ooh, it looks nice. It looks real nice. Okay, now we want to spread those. The debuffs are out to the side. I guess that's fine. We don't need to know everybody's debuffs. But I would prefer that they were spaced out a bit. So let's add some padding. Can we add some padding somewhat? Uh, don't block focus. Don't block mouse over. Don't block target. Threat display glow. So whoever has threat will be d displayed glowing. Uh, spacing. Let's give them about 13. That's horizontal spacing. So let's uh, let's make that zero again. I don't I don't know why we would need horizontal. We'll give it at least one horizontal. For for vertical spacing, we'll give it 13. Ooh, that look nice. That look nice right there. I like that. Okay. And uh, I, think, I think that's it. I think that's a wrap. I think that's that's basically what you would want. When true, header includes a player when not in the ring. Ooh, I like that. We do want them to display the player. Uh, the power isn't set up properly. Power needs to be anchored onto the bottom. Bottom. Okay. And then from the bottom... Let's make this kind of the same. Text options is like right there. Think, think, think. So, bottom zero minus 32. Bottom zero 
minus 32. I uh, don't know if that's going to be the same for this one. Position, bottom, offset 0 by 32. Yeah, it's not going to be the same. It's slightly different for this. Okay. So, minus 5? Nope, minus 7. Minus 8. All right. Uh-oh. It looks like Activator is getting hungry again. We gotta feed him. Don't worry, buddy. No, okay, he's he's good again. He's he's happy. All right, let's move. Let's move these group units. Let's move them. Let's move them that way. Let's scoot them over that way. Oh, anchors. Okay, I was like, how do I do that? Okay. <laughs> okay. That's a little better. Now, when we get a party, we'll know we're in a party because it'll be right there. Now we could you could get rid of those, and then and then everything else should be gravy now, right? We're all gravy now. The only problem is our power bars on these sides. Okay, let's get our let's get our power bars on those sides. LVI. That is the uh target and focus target. We're going to shrink the focus target cuz there's no reason he should be that big. We may even lower it a bit more. We're definitely going to shrink it though. So, what is it about our individual power? that's not being translated over. It's like the offset here is, it's anchored to the bottom, minus 32. But for our target and target of target, it is not. Position, bottom, minus 32. Three, let's try zero. Let's try three. Let's try two. Okay, so offset two for target. Okay. Okay, so target of target as well. Power. That's going to be two. Nice. Nice. Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm getting situated here. I got uh, I just to the bathroom, threw this, uh, threw this old thing on, and I put my hair, uh, my hair back a little bit, so it's not in the way as much. Uh, I think that's good. Let's, okay. We're on target of target. Let's make this one smaller. We want to, we want to shrink things here. General. Uh, width and height. We'll make the width 75 and the height 15. And then the names and all that stuff are going to fit in that. You know, we could get rid of most of that information that, like, the percentage and all this stuff. It doesn't need all that. It doesn't need it as much. So let's do that. We'll go to the custom text. Or even power. We do want the power to be displayed. But it doesn't need to be as predominant. So... All right, so power can be set to maybe three, three height. Nah, let's give it more than that. Four, four is good. And then the rest of this other text, I think we just, we just drop, we drop the HP text. Bank, okay, we'll delete that one. And then for the name, we'll make it short. Short. 
Uh, but then we'll also scale that down to like, what is the chat, 14? Or 15, 16? 16 is good. But we got a general like, you can kind of see, yeah, you can kind of see a name, the amount of mana, just minimal information. That's really all you need. That's the target of our target. The target of my target is my target's target. Uh, maybe we'll scale down. I want to, I want to lower this below. We're going to lower the target of target's target below the cast bar. Below even the tar the vehicle leave button. We'll, put, we'll even put it down here. We'll, we'll run it off of that line right there. And then the player cast bar, I think is appropriate there. We'll, we'll lower it a little bit more. I kind of want the target cast bar in front of me. My cast bar can go here. I want my target's cast bar where I can see it though. We'll center it on this line. We'll call it right there on that line. Oosh. Kind of like that. And then my own cast bar, I'll shrink it down. We'll, we'll make it the same as the others. Player, cast bar, it's at 175, so we'll just make it that. And then there we go. Very nice. I ain't mad at that. So now we got our targets cast bar, my cast bar, and uh, yeah. I think we could also shrink activate ours. We'll, we'll shrink down activate ours hit. Uh, nah, we'll leave his that size. We'll leave his, yeah, we'll leave his that size. I almost want to line this one up with that one. Let's do that. I think this should be in the mid like that. Kind of like a smidge away from the line, but also in between those two boxes there. I'm just gonna anchor it kind of a smidge in between. I'll line it up vertically with my own cast bar, but horizontally against the action bars. So that should be that should be even, right? We'll use this as a guide. Yeah, that looks that looks right. And then here, got our little roller. See that? Yeah, that's 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 gravy right there. That's that's smooth, smooth like butter. Uh, we may shrink this down. Nah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it like that. Well, we'll shrink it down a little bit. Little bit. Pet. Pet. Pet uh, bars? Would it be an Aura bar? Pet general? Uh, pet action bar? Would it be pet action bar? What is it called? Toggle pet bar. Okay. Pet bar. Uh, I think we'll leave it. We'll leave it like it is. I don't want to mess with it. Pet target? Okay, no. Okay. Now that we've finished changing things, and we've basically got things set up the way we want them, can we even do something with questing? Let's see. I want to see something just for continuity. What are the different questy fonts? Is there any way to change the fonts for questy? Because we can then have everything to the same font. Doesn't look like it's immediately very simple to do. Questy options. Questy options. 
tracking options? No, not those. Cancel. It looks like it comes with its own font. That's okay. It, it's it's fine. We'll probably make minute adjustments to things as we go as well, because we got like the mini map and everything here. These fonts, like the dead the data being displayed, like we got our MS, our ping and all this. I don't even know what that is down there in the, in the center. There's something there in the center. I might move that. This is my repair stuff. We'll keep it kind of as it is. We'll keep it kind of as it is. But yeah, before we forget, before we forget. Let's export this. Profiles, export profile, export now. Control C, we're copying. Close, import profile, control V, we're pasting. Import now. It says the profile you import already exists, or the profile you tried to import already exists. Choose a new name or accept to overwrite the existing profile. I'm gonna overwrite the existing profile. So now we have an up-to-date existing profile for the reticular activating system. And this will be what we begin to work with. Now, just for a, a climactic conclusion, we'll go out and get some kills right quick and see the UI in action. I currently have played her nameplate, so the next, ep next episode may be something around that. Oh look, something happened with our target. Oh, that looks right. It's just the name. I may have to change the name. Nick the boy. I don't even, I didn't even notice he was there. I clicked on. Oh, clicked on her. Sorry, excuse me. Okay. Here's Defias Bandit. Some of the names like, I think the, the names may be too long. I may need to show them. Oh, I like the look. Okay, I see you. I see you there. It's changing according to the difficulty level. We got that little tick refresher going on the hit points. This is nice. This is nice. Let's find some stuff to kill. Here's a young forest bear. I can't see what level he is. It shows a hostile icon. I'm gonna want to put his level text. On. And then it's got like a, I think that's a questy. I think I need to do questy to get this uh, adjusted. Questy options, advance, or maybe that's a plater nameplate thing. Tool tips, not that. Tracker. Ah, here's the fonts. These are the fonts. Okay, we'll just do the fonts right now then. I don't mind if I do right now then. The same thing applies for this as well. Like we could also get our profiles and everything set up here. Open profiler. I don't wanna, I've done it before where I've altered things in LVY and then I've tried to like open a new profile to save everything, but I've erased everything in doing that. So I'm very hesitant to just go around clicking buttons. Open the profiles used for tracking down the source of lag. See, that's not even what I was... See, this is what I mean. You don't want to just go around clicking the buttons. But I think it's Plater. It might be Plater. Got some add-ons here. Details. Right there. Plater nameplates right here. Uh, this is Mr. Robot. Altaholic. I see you there, Altaholic. Right here. These are our buffs. I'm gonna wanna make these buffs bigger as well so we can see what active buffs we have. Right now we have act aspect of the buff. Okay, this is our, okay, damage done, healing done. I see you there. Uh, we'll probably do instead of that. Damage done reticulating. Uh, is there a way to, I think there's a way to make it down here, but we'll just do enemy damage taken, I guess. No, we could do another one. Check this out. 
damage, DPS, resources, miscellaneous, buff up time, ooh, interrupts, okay, scripts, oh, look at the scripts, guys, it's a piedra de salud usado, okay, mis habilidades, Damage on skull mark targets. See that one, so you can call people out and be like, "You want some fuck shit? You ain't targeting the right thing." All right, damage done. DPS. DPS. Oh look, it's got a little crown. Yeah, we're going with DPS. What else? There's stuff you can see inside of uh, the abilities. I don't know if you can get that. Or how that would work. Damage done. It, it'd be like this. Just trying to shift. Damage done. Into there. I ain't trying to link. I want this display down here. How do I get the spells to display down there? You know what I'm trying to do. I've done it before. Not with this add-on, I don't think. Tiny threat. Oh, we can, we can put threat. It's threat. So now we got threat, DPS, and threat. Check it out. Okay. Questy still fucking up. Oh, that's plater, actually. We can do plater. Okay, I see plater. We're in kind of a little sketchy of a place. So this is the indicators. The widget's attached to left right now. Let's, let's center it. Let's put it on the bottom. Let's go like that. So Rockhide Boar is not a part of a quest. The bear is though. Okay, so the bear uh, doesn't appear to be altering things. Let me get closer. This is actually affecting the nameplate. Okay, yeah, and that is affecting that. Okay, I don't think that's what that was. Left bottom that doesn't affect that i don't know what i'm messing with there but it wasn't it so this is uh i guess enemy npc quest color npcs are that color okay what it is we're looking for the icon the npc uh quest icon Level text. We do have the level text being displayed up there. Oh, he's turning. He's turning towards us. It's the 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 range of this ain't very far either. We could set the range further. Enemy NPC. Level text. I see level text. Health information. Spell name. Cast name. NPC name text. Cast bar. Maybe it's on this side. One of these will be a questy thing. Advanced, maybe. Client C bars, plater stuff. Maybe something with quests. NPC colors and names, friendly NPCs, personal colors. Okay. Ghost words, buff special, cast names. Is it not enemy NPC? It must be in Questy. Questy options. Maybe it's advanced. It's not the advanced. General. Um. Instant quest text. Raid icons. Overrides. It's not advanced. Name plates. Okay, this must be it. Let's find another one. Where the burr at? Probably more out towards the east. Heading due easterly. We got some things here. We'll take this one. 
doing like a whole video. Look, it's showing the threat. Yeah, okay. There's a bear, I see a bear that way. I think that was a bear. There he is. Okay, so icon position. Ah. Um, that's not good. It looks good though, it looks good. We just need to do this. It's on LVY, it makes me feel like LVY. Target frame quest objectives. That, I think that's it. Let's go zero, zero. Let's see where it naturally wants to be. Just need to find another bear. Oh, we got some more loyalty. He needs to eat. So our pet is currently loyalty level four, which is dependable. He's a dependable pet. Very dependable. Okay. Oh, look, resetting it, put it inside right there. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, advanced search, quest the options. It wasn't, well, it was quest the options, wasn't it? Right here. So we're going to put it out to the side like three. Like, like I said, like, like 30. That's it. That's it. That's the way. That's the way. I almost want to put it on the other side, though. So let's, let's put it back 130. Right there. Because the sword kind of points to it like, this is the one right here. I like that. Okay. Close. His name's displayed in the back. I like it. I think we can make these texts larger or change the font. It looks okay though. It goes into this crazy percentage. It's just... Yeah, I don't like when it goes outside the bounds like that. Can I do something to make it not go outside the bounds? I think it's a matter of changing the font. Or maybe the outline. Here, let's see. We're almost done here. This is the uh, font for unit frames, individual units. Most things are copying the player. So I wonder if I change the players, if that just will translate. I just realized these are that. I've changed the global text to accidental presidency and I've told it to apply to everything, but it doesn't actually do that. You have to actually sometimes go in here and do that sometimes and manually change some specific items, but it does a pretty good job of getting most of them when you do it global. So this is HP mono thick. Let's try mono. And this is our target currently, so let's do that one specifically. It says HP, mono thick, let's go mono. Mono's okay. Let's go. Right there. I want to try it like that. On my side, it looks kind of jacked. Let's fix, let's fix that. L, see what happened to player. Players is mono. Four square. Right there. Okay. 
That should be good. Ah, oh, no, nah, you can't see his. Well, you can whenever it covers like that. Outside, it doesn't look good, though. So, the death one is offset different than the one while they're alive. And the one while they're alive is kind of thin looking. Let's say L. Somehow they're anchored together. This is our target cutaway text. Justify left. Center? Let's let's justify both of them. Center. Okay, that didn't alter that. I think that's why when they die, it, it does that. So target. The font is 12 here. What is mine? Mono outline 12. Mono outline. Okay, there's the outline. That's what I was missing. This may be okay like that. Okay, let's try. One more. Let's try that. Looks good so far. And then if it dies, it might go out. I hope it doesn't. Uh, it's still kind of within bounds. I I'll take that. I'll take that. Alright, we're going to call that. We're going to call that the win. Questy looks kind of small right now. I may bring Questy up a little bit. Questy General. Advanced. Where do we get those? Where do we get those? Let me just... Let me just find out where we got those. Ah, right, here we are. Global scale for maps. For icons. Object icons. Questy tracker. These are for the map. Tracker. Alright, here we go. Let's go 16. And then 14. And then 12. And then 10. And then 3. Outline? Yeah, we could do an outline there. That's good. We could do a monochrome outline. Ooh. Ooh. If we do that, we gotta make it bigger. None. We'll give it an outline, like that. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll make it 11. That's, I'm happy with that. I think that's all good. Now let's export. Hmm. That, no, that's too distracting. We'll get rid of the outline. Okay, it's better without the outline. Ooh, it looks clean now. It looks cleaner now, right? I think it looks cleaner. Okay, so now let's go to options or LVI and profiles. Export profile. Save progress. This will save our progress. We'll copy that. Importing the profile, importing now, and accept. Alright guys, this thing is nuking my eyeballs. It's, this thing is a little bit, a little bit, it's, it's for the back. It's for the back, it's for the green screen. We've been going strong for about an hour 20 though. I hope you guys appreciated that as much as I did. It was a good episode. Thing you requesting. Uh, I I may even do like I, I think I will stream. I think I'll stream. I don't think I'll have my camera on because this thing's hurting my eyes. Having this so bright is hurting my eye. I could turn it down. I can do some other things, but I'm gonna keep playing. 
I'm just gonna feel this out and see how we like this thing. Until next time. Un until, until next time. Appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, till we meet again. Till we meet again. Hey, peace, peace.